Hello. Today we're going to cook a cauliflower curry in a Dutch oven. We're just getting the pot nice and warm and up to temperature. And we're going to add in some chopped onions, a little bit of garlic and some oil. We're going to let those brown off probably for about five to ten minutes. Just starting to fry away there. Just going to give them a little stir, make sure all the pizzas are separated. Get them all nice and brown. Okay. Now we're going to add in the spice mix. In here we've got some turmeric, some garam masala, a small bit of ginger powder, two whole dried chilies, and some curry leaves. We've also got some brown mustard seeds and some fenugreek seeds. We're just going to let them warm up in the oil and release lots of their flavour. Again, that will probably be another two or three minutes just to get everything coated and nicely flavoured. You can add some red pepper. You could add any kind of vegetable, really. I'm adding frozen just because I couldn't be bothered to chop it. But feel free to add whatever vegetable you'd like. And the main star is the cauliflower, which I did chop. So we're going to add those in. Just make sure everything's coated in the spice. And leave it to simmer for a little bit. got a tin of green lentils so they can go in and then a packet of passata to make the sauce we just add all that in and then we're just going to give it a nice big stir make sure everything's mixed together nicely and coated There we go. Just have a look in there. The pot retains the heat really well, so it doesn't take long to get back up to temperature. Even though we added all that cold stuff in. the lid on now and let that cook for 
about another 10 minutes. I'm going to put another log on just to keep it cooking away nicely. Okay. Last ingredient is some lemon juice. You could use real lemons, I've cheated. Uh, we're gonna add quite a lot. We want it to be nice, hot, sour, spicy. Just have a look in there. You see the sauce has reduced quite a lot now. But with the lid on, the cauliflower's cooked through. It went in raw, but after sort of 10, 15 minutes, it's perfect. And there we go. It's pretty much ready now. Nice thick sauce. Everything ready to eat. Like I say, you could mix it up and put any old vegetables in. We're going to serve it with some rice. You could use a naan bread or, or whatever really. I ate all of this. It's probably two or three people's servings. Uh, but you could adjust the amount you put in. The pot's huge. You could probably cook for ten people in there. There we go. Really tasty. Thanks for watching.